boys, is the uh, is the sun coming down on the Tampa Bay Buccaneers? A four and five now team uh, is that their team, record after losing to the Kansas City Chiefs. Played very, very hard. Took us to overtime, but they're out. Chris Godwin, Mike Evans is out for at least a couple more weeks. Um, at least one more week, I believe it is. Is 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 the sun setting on the Tampa Bay Buccaneers for the 2024-2025 season? Uh, it's about uh, early evening time for them. They got a long way to go still, but uh, the rest of the schedule does not look too easy for them. Uh, do they still have their bye week coming up as well? I believe they do. Uh, I believe they do have a bye week coming up. I think in week 12 or so, but they got a long way to go. Uh, they fought their asses off. I mean, we we knew this was going to happen. They are going up against the two-time defending champion, so we were going to get their best, and without their best players, they still gave us a good run for the money. Dude, I don't think I don't think that uh, record reflects how like tough and gritty and like at 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 certain times really really good of a team that is. I don't think you said four and five, four and five. Yeah, dude, I just don't think that record reflects. Uh, I mean, they got got by Kirko Chains early in the year, right? Late in the game, didn't he? Like yep. Young Way Koo had like a late game winning right. field goal. They well, got, I know, I know, Kirk, but like now. they they kind of blew him out though. They won by like two scores last, like yeah. like they won kind of Kirko won comfortably at noon, um, <clears throat> but then in er, early earlier in the year, yeah, like Young Waiku had to hit a game winner, I think, or something like that. You know, kind of like you know they've had they've had victory snatched out of their hands quite a few times, I believe, this year, and I think that's just tough, and that's the other side, kind of of you know some other teams, you know, in this like the. Like the uh, uh, Washington Commanders, they've kind of won those really close games, and they've been lucky on those really close games for the most part. Um, you know, so that I think he's just on the other side of that coin. Honestly, he, I think that's all it really is. It's a good it's football it, team. It's a it's a good football team. They definitely, we definitely didn't give them the credit that they deserved. Uh, I mean, also kind of, we say undeserved, but really nobody knew what they were going to look like without. Mike Evans You're and right. Chris Godwin against this Chiefs team didn't think that they would be, especially the way that our defense has been playing this year. Um, difficult to know exactly or to believe that they could have come in and put up the the type of game that they did. And and you say unlucky. I wonder if a lot of this now isn't down to coaching. A lot of you know Todd Bowles has been a head coach before, but not a successful head coach, and now he's in his and now he's in another stint with with the Tampa Bay Bucks. And they roll the Chiefs defense kind of all night. Like, yeah, they they weren't successful on every single one of their drives, but they get momentum swinging. They get down to the one yard line, thirty seconds left. They call their final timeout, and and I'm not I'm not so harsh on that portion because yeah, you you want to line up, you want to make sure that you get the co- the correct personnel out there. But you could have saved that timeout. You could have left Patrick Mahomes with less time than you gave him, or no time at all. But the final kicker is, is you don't go for the two point conversion. You've got all the momentum. Yeah. You just scored from the two yard line. You got everything going your way and you're about to, you have the possibility to knock off the league's best time, team, the reigning defending two time Super Bowl champions. And you don't go for two when you've got everything riding with you right there. That's the only way that you're going to win because even if you get the ball in overtime, the momentum is is not so much favoring you because Kansas City now has the ball a little bit, and and you guys get to cool down a little bit. Who's to say that they're going to score a touchdown? I don't think that they were in overtime. They're probably going to at least get into field goal range, and who knows if they make it? Pressure situation, right? You got to go for the win in those situations. Even I think it was, it's really. Like oh, it, go ahead, Sean. My bad. Like it was raining out as well. That's Todd Bowles' excuse for uh, going for the field goal, but. Your kicker is not the best kicker out there. He's had struggles on this year. Uh, you're leading up to a field goal. The Chiefs got really close to blocking a few punts, and uh, I believe they were close on a kick as well. So you're going to put yeah. that up into the, that hands instead of trying to go for it and get the win. Uh, he he can motivate his players as well as anybody, but he just his game decisions are not not good at all. I don't know, man. I don't know. I think um, I think it's hard to say. I think Todd Bowles probably put. Um, more faith in that coin toss and winning that 
than he did probably in the offense scoring uh, going for two to, to, to win the game. Cause I mean, in his mind, it's like, all right, we can score a touch to like, We just scored. All we got to do is like, take, take a timeout break, flip a coin. If we win, we're taking the ball. All we, all I got to do is go score again. They, we got them already. They're on their heels. So I don't know. I think, I think that's probably where he went with it instead of like, Oh, let's beat him right now. I think he probably was just like, you know what? Let's I'd like my chances with the coin toss. That's probably what he said. It's probably how he thought whether it was right or wrong. You know, I don't know. I agree with you guys though. You're on the road. You got the team on the heels. It's, you know, they're, they're seven and O or what eight and O you're eight. No now, right. You're seven and O at the time. It's the only undefeated team left defending back-to-back champs. Like you said, like it's all kind of there for you to like, uh, like write your own story, I guess you could say. But, you know, at the end of the day, if he goes for it and he doesn't make it, then you're like, whoa, what are you doing? Take the field goal. Oh, I'm not saying, see, I'm not a lot saying of people, you. I'm not no, saying you, but yeah. I'm saying like that's how it could, you know, that's like that zero to hero type thing too. Like That'd be so unfounded know. though for, for anyone because because here's the other thing is the Baltimore Ravens, if they had scored that touchdown, if Isaiah likely wore a size 11 inside, instead of a size 14 and he scores that touchdown, they're going for two. They were calling it out. They were ready to go for it. You get the Kansas City Chiefs on the ropes, you go for two. Sean and I were talking about this pre-show. I I think this game that the Tampa Bay Buccaneers played, if they played this exact game, the way that they played on Monday Night Football against 28, 29 other teams, they probably come out as winners. Oh, There's only one, maybe two other teams that they don't beat. Yeah. And... And you have to you have to take the two point there. And if you don't make it, I don't think anyone should give them because the one thing that you don't want to see here, and here's why it's different from other teams. If you get any other team in that position and you're and you're the Tampa Bay Bucks, you kick the field goal, you go to overtime. You do not give Patrick Mahomes and the Kansas City Chiefs, no matter how bad the offense has been, regardless if it was good this game or not, right? You do not give the Kansas City Chiefs and Patrick Mahomes an opportunity to beat you in overtime because yeah, we no, all know <laughs> how that goes. Yeah. Hasn't lost. I mean, the only way to eliminate the opportunity is the coin toss, right? Yeah, and and I will say, like that, which is 50-50. Like way. at that point, it's a 50-50 shot. Like we're either gonna win this coin toss, hopefully win the game, or we're gonna lose the coin toss and they're gonna go down the field and fucking score touchdown because that's what they and do. you're going and you're going 50-50 for coin toss. Well, let's take a look at what the math says on on uh, uh two point conversions, right? This year it's 31%. Last year it was over 50%. So if right, you that's don't last change, year we're talking about right now, <laughs> no, I know the fucking but, past. All right. I'm saying you take you take all the math <laughs> from how you in your math. It's football. He went with his gut. All right. <laughs> well, they lost because it was a bad gut feeling. That's okay. Bad bad hey, bad hey, I'd rather trust my gut than You've fucking go ideas. with the stat and like ju- and like I trust myself at the end of the day. I trust myself. I don't give a fuck what anybody else thinks. I trust you myself. Gotta, you gotta that's go what Todd Bowles said, and he was wrong. That's okay though. That's okay. Other than that, like. Pretty, I don't pretty think his job's in jeopardy, game. though, dude. That team's way. No, like, no, 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 no. What you said is the sun's setting. I mean, on their. <laughs> I'm, I, it was season, a question. On the season. I, I, yeah, I the Bucks are a closing as a team. They're folding. <laughs> it was. It was a question I asked. We had Their to do a transition. Fold in almost hundred years. I, I get what you're saying. I get it was a segue. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> <laughs>